Dear Sibuma Padua. <laughs> Always say I, that. You that I knew I have no doubt you wrote that. My love story is so different and funny. It's the reason I am still with you. You forced yourself into my heart when I least expected it. And for that I'm eternally grateful. I'd love to ask you. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> Previously on defining. Facts or myth. Fuck and sit is necessary in order to successfully live together after marriage. Our soulmates will always understand us. Masturbating is cheating. Yeah, you need to masturbate. <laughs> no, you have to masturbate, hey? Time Don't to deprive yourself. Time to go. Go. <laughs> you masturbate. Hey, look, you know, ain't nothing wrong with just touching yourself once in a while. Who's gonna love you like you can love yourself? You need to know, you need to know who she is that you're working exactly. with. You know, can't be shot first time. No, no, no. Oh, oh, no. no. Come on. Hi, Matlai. <laughs> My name is Mushe Lupindo. My name is Sibun Banza. I am dating Sibun Banza. I'm currently dating Mushe Lupindo. We've been dating for about. I just need to count quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I think a year and uh, like four, three months. I yeah. I I don't know what he said, but that's the truth. A year and a half. She might tell you different, but I promise you, it's a year and a half. We definitely don't have a couple name. We are but I think our couple name at the moment for the internet is Mombanza. Our love story is actually um, I would like to think it's not traditional in the sense like girl meets boy, boy asks girl out on a date and then you know the whole big gestures and our love story is literally us being friends. Um, to a point where I was like trying to hook him up with all my friends. I'm like, hey, na ban ban, I got you. <laughs> and I would be like, who are your cute boys? <laughs> so Busha and I, this is a very, very weird story. One of a kind, unique. Okay. Busha and I met when I moved to Joburg. Basically, I was living with friends at the time. I moved to Joburg in December 2016. And then I think Jan, Feb came and I got a job offer in Cape Town for three months as I just moved to Joburg. Decided to take it, the only issue was obviously my room would be empty and I'd still be paying rent for an apartment in Joburg. Somebody came and subletted my um, my room. That went well, I went back to Cape Town, did what I needed to do for the three months, moved back. And the person who had subletted my room decided to uh, stay with me and my friend. So then we moved into a, an apartment upstairs, same apartment block, but now we had three rooms. So it was me, my friend, and this new person. This new person turns out to be Mushe. Every time we tell people that we were housemates first, everyone is like, I go, and then, like, and then, uh, bonana, nisasla mizikia entline. No, like, that's how we are able to live together. We have lived together for as long as we've known each other, literally. We were first roommates, friendship, then relationship. My first impression of Mushe was, it was a bit weird. I'll tell you why. Because I came down from, I came up from Cape Town because I was doing another gig in Joburg, but it was only for the weekend. And obviously I just decided I'm gonna go visit like my apartment and I'm gonna go see my flatmates. I'd forgotten that there's an extra person there who's like, you know, sleeping in my room. So I walk in, she's sitting on the couch in the lounge. I didn't really notice her. Don't tell her I said that. And obviously me, I, I wasn't thinking, I walked straight, I beelined for my room. Like I went straight for my, not realize that it's not my room. This man's decides to go in my room i'm paying rent i don't care if it's your room i am paying rent he goes into my room and he closes the door and i'm like what is happening what is happening and he just went in my room and i think he went to go fetch like a cup like take a couple of his stuff that he needed that was already in his room and he opened and walked out i was like you don't even ask for permission to me the first encounter i ever had of him i was like what a rude ass cape town it's literally because i i didn't know her at the time and i'm awkward and i'm shy but my first impression of her was just like hey there's a, a stranger living in my room that that's literally about it at what point did you realize you were in love uh <laughs> doing the small things like making the bed and you're like oh my god i'm so happy making the bed like i'm doing this with my man let's make the bed <laughs> like then like those were the feelings where i was like 
like what is going on i think that was the first time i ever realized that i actually really like him and how like i got excited to come back home gay all day to come home and just to be in his presence and like just sit there and be like let's watch something i'm so excited <laughs> there was a time when she was writing her exams and we bonded so much over the fact that like I'm a varsity dropout and I struggled with the varsity. It was really nice for me to be able to be there for her because she struggles with varsity just like most varsity students. And I think there was like two, three weeks where she was writing exams. I think it felt good for me to feel like I could help somebody. And I think for her it felt good to have somebody to understand you and to be able to help you. And I think there was those three weeks where, obviously because she's writing exams, she's not going to school. So we spent a lot of time together and I work from home. So at that point, that's when we realized it's late. It's late. Welcome to Mombanza, guys. My name is Wuche and this is Sebu. Yes. And we are on vacation. We're on a vacation. We're on a vacation. Why do you always take up all the space? This is like you. I was about to drag you. In bed, no. What? Hmm? Guys, Wuche is nervous because she's about to meet my mom with her brown jacket and her fancy glasses her very yellow glasses i think i should take these off hi boy cheerio i'm guys this is what we do we said no <laughs> no um what <laughs> cheers yeah see you now <laughs> guys <laughs> Look at Mushe, guys look at her life where and when was our first kiss <laughs> <laughs> Okay, people are waiting for a kiss now. You ready? Mm-hmm. Who approached who? Who approached who, <laughs> As far as I know, nobody really approached anybody. Um, I think because we were living together at the time, it didn't make the approaching, like the, the process wasn't there of approaching yeah. each other. Um, we were already like in each other's faces all day, every day. I saw her in her pajamas before I wanted to see her in her pajamas. So. Hey. <laughs> professional girlfriend. <laughs> professional girlfriend. Oh, there it is. Is it easy being a couple in the public eye? Public eye? It's only 16,000. People. <laughs> we always say we are not a couple in the public eye but we are a couple that is filming our experiences i don't know does that make sense people like like us individually but then like us together with the energy that we bounce off each other that's the only like public thing that i have gotten from the internet. I don't yeah, know yeah. about you. Um, I, don't, I don't think it makes it any easier or difficult to be honest. At least at this stage where we are right now. It's definitely Just, made our relationship more fun though. Yes. Yeah, like, it's, it's added a different dynamic to our relationship where it's like we're relationshiping and then other people are also there but I, with, with us. us. Exactly. But what I, what I enjoy about that is just our audience um, isn't a weird audience. Mm -hmm. Like, as much as they realize that we're bringing them into our, our space, they aren't um, yeah. forward mm -hmm. and like weird about it. But we've also set that boundary and like layer of our relationship that don't come to us for relationship advice because what we're doing might not work for you. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to be relationship goals. No, no so not relationship goals. But then having said that, how do you feel about, you know, being referenced as mom and dad of YouTube? <laughs> I don't like it. First of all, we are auntie and uncle. Aunt and uncle. That's what we say. No shame. People do. People say we're mom and dad, mm -hmm. but we leave that for George and Sasha. Yeah. We're the hopeful, you know, rich aunt and uncle. Definitely. Of, of YouTube. You know the one that arrives at the Adam Dream. Adam Dream. And we in the caterers. Mer. We got the caterers. You the, know. The, the older kids are like, did you bring alcohol? And we, and like, we, we got, got you. you. Do you know your partner's love language? Ooh. Because there are five. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so let's let's try list them and then let us know which ones okay. we forgot. Actions so of there's 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 acts of service. Acts of service. There yes. is um is it is it I feel like touch is not the word but like um intimacy in, like, like intimacy physical touch. There we go. That's and the then there's the um the there's communication the gift, one. Wait, there's the gift giver the gift oh, giving. Give, gift uh, giving. So we are three now. There's the communication one, the affirming. Affir words, of words of affirmation words of affirmation yes. and then there's the time no isn't that actual yeah. service no it is time quality time, time. time. Yeah. 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 Great job. 
to be honest like we actually did this exercise okay. like in the beginning of our relationship because we didn't want to can i just say your makeup looks really nice today okay Thanks. sorry i got very distracted yes oh my goodness we didn't want to okay 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 <laughs> <laughs> we didn't want to project our favorite oh, love languages yeah. to each other and i would like to think correct me if i'm wrong we're still very much working on that yeah so so i think what happened for me is i was doing exactly what she's saying and projecting what i wanted by doing that for her so for example like i'm a huge gift giver i love like surprising her and giving her gifts all the time but that's not necessarily what she wants yes she enjoys the gifts i'd like to think um <laughs> but like she <laughs> rude um but i found myself doing that before asking her if that's actually a thing that she wants. But do we know each other's? She loves acts of service and quality time a lot. Yeah, yeah. and then Sibu likes me saying, I, st I still love you. Since we're living together, mm. how do you manage the house finances? Considering Bukle is a full-time student. Mm. So Part-time student, part-time girlfriend. Part-time student, I'm a full-time full student. Full-time student, full-time girlfriend. I'm a full-time student <laughs> and part-time girlfriend. Only during the day. Yes. <laughs> First of all, our finances in our household are handled by my mom and the mm. <laughs> And I mean that in a sense like my mom pays for my lifestyle. Mm. So rent, groceries, Wi-Fi, like all the other like little things. It's and my mom. But everything else, I will say he yeah. handles it because he's the work. He chose this life. <laughs> okay, I chose to date a student. Um, and, that, and I think that's the gist of it is I chose to date a student. So I just had to be mature about it and understand that there's very little that she can do. And even with that little that she can do, she helps me actually make money more than she realizes. Um, just because it's not like, don't be too loud. Just because it's not her going to work, getting a salary, um, but in the little things, sometimes when I need to bounce an idea off of her, um, when I need to just come up with an idea, like in general, um, she helps me like quite a lot because I work in marketing and advertising. She's studying basically marketing and advertising. It's not basic. She will shout at me. It's got way more to do than that. Strategic brand communication. Every girl in Joburg studies strategic How brand. dare you? Okay. And we also have the conversation of money because money is a strain in the Mm -hmm. um, especially if Usibu every other second week is giving me a gift I'm obviously going to sit here and feel like why aren't I buying him a gift if you feel like that it's because you've never had the conversation with your partner you should speak to them and I'm like, yeah. I, like I can't provide or give you anything at this point of my life because I am a student that's why like in the vlogs like little things like a care package like getting jelly babies his favorite foods like those things are like a hundred grand just put it in a nice packet you just give it to them to say thank you that's like a gift and like a lot of students didn't realize being romantic didn't necessarily mean buying a fancy watch or yeah. it's just like saying hey i see you and i see what you like i'm gonna give it to you see well, you've said that you're not necessarily religious mm -hmm. right and then we say when you guys moved into the new apartment, uh -huh. you said that you guys need to pray for the place. <laughs> so <laughs> how does that, you know, difference between the two of you affect the way you guys live together? Hmm, this is gonna be interesting. I want you to answer this. Okay, we'll answer it. So I think that we're both um, relatively spiritual people. Um, I am not Christian. I I, I haven't found the label yet that I identify with because um, I'm still kind of figuring it out and I think that's where we actually both are. There are Christian values that I have um, that I wouldn't necessarily call Christian values because they're just core values of being a nice human being. But we both grew up in Christian households so Christian speak comes out even if it's sarcasm sometimes. When you grow up with a pastor, my dad was a pastor, my mom was like the first lady of the church so that language just comes out sometimes and you listen to gospel even yeah but, we're definitely listening yeah. to gospel um, but I think definitely you're right in the sense of you more yeah yeah in I touch. don't know in, in touch with we're both still kind of figuring it out I did not fall in love with Sibu because of his religion I fell in love with him because he's a good person and that's what I would say the religion I was raised um, up in mm -hmm 
tells you the type of person you should be with, a good person who's respects you and all that other jazz. I am very much find comfort in believing in something, like in believing in, even if you want to call it Christianity. I would like to think I'm in a path where I'm trying to understand like what I believe in, but at this point, I don't think I would label myself as a Christian because I don't want people coming to me and saying, hey, Kantanda Zed or anything like that because I'm trying to also figure out is prayer something I want to do when I'm feeling down, which is something I do do when I'm feeling down. And it's just my personal thing. That's why I try not to answer religious questions. But very much, best believe, I was raised in a household of Christianity. Yeah praying, writing down your goals and like all of it. Mm -hmm. And I sit there and do it with enjoyment, not mm -hmm. because I'm like, oh, mama is making us do this. Yeah. I'm just sitting there doing it because I'm like, I actually want to do this. I want to write down my goals. I want to do the whole thing. Yeah. So that's where I am with religion and mm -hmm. with Usibo. Like I'll never force him to, let's go to church. Let's do this. Busha wanted to go to church every Sunday, she can do that. There's absolutely no issue. If she wanted to pray before we eat, she can do that. There's no issue. Um, if that's what she finds comfort in. As soon as it encroaches in my way of life, then we need to have another conversation where we go, I actually don't enjoy that. Or, like, I don't know, if one day we had kids and you were like, they have to go to a, a Catholic school or something, mm. then it's like, okay, now we need to have this conversation. Why that school? Is it because it's religious? Then, it's it's then we must talk, exactly. Dear Sibuma Padua. <laughs> you always say I that. that I knew, Sibuma. I have no doubt you wrote that. Well done on begging me. <laughs> if I do say so myself. <laughs> Our love story is so different and funny. It's the reason I am still with you. I will never know how long our journey will be, but the ride has been great. You are caring, thoughtful, patient, conspired without my phone. Patient. <laughs> patient. Conspired. Gotcha. My best friend, understanding, and I, I wish a lot of people saw what I see in you. Not that I care what people think. <laughs> Sometimes it feels unfair to be the only one to experience that. I wish you nothing but the best for your future. This sounds like I'm breaking up with you. But I see how hard you work and share everything you get with your family. It's very admirable. And how much you still want to share your skills with so many other people. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love you. Yeah, too. yeah, mm, love you. Oh, I, love mm, you. Mm, mm. I really love you and too many more seasons. Oh, what? You sound like a mother in seasons. Cute. Okay. <laughs> Phew. Now my letter sucks. <laughs> okay. You? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't read the back. It was no, a mess. Okay. okay. Hey, B. Hey, girl. <laughs> Firstly, I love you. When I met you, I wasn't looking for anyone. Mm. You came as a beautiful surprise. Guys, don't start crying, please. Your incredible energy was infectious, and it was difficult not to be taken by a smile. The year before I met you, I was mourning the end of a four-year relationship. I didn't think I would fall in love for a very long time. Apparently, you didn't care. <laughs> you forced yourself into my heart when I least expected it, and for that, I'm eternally grateful. I say I love you all the time. What I don't say as often is thank you. Thank you for always having my back. Thank you for reminding me to find the best in people. Thank you for holding me up when I'm down. Thank you for popping my head when it gets a bit too big. <laughs> Thank you for teaching me how to cook more than eggs and toast. And thank you for <laughs> not shouting at me when I almost burned the house down trying to cook your recipes. Thank you for allowing me to watch your journey. Thank you for showing interest in mine. This is not a proposal, but one day, when you're ready, I'd love to ask you to spend the rest of your life with me. Hectic. <laughs> oh, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> You heard it here first! Stop chopping onions! Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, you really <laughs> are crying! Guys, I am weak. Babe! Okay, okay. no, I'm okay. good. You good? Yeah, I'm good. good. 
Oh, good. Oh, oh, gee, what? <laughs> Can you kill me? Don't tell our parents I said that. <laughs> not just, not just yet. Thank you. Yeah. That was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's not okay. Thank you. So Patricia. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Funny actually, Pretoria. I think Pretoria is going to be the first city that gets hey, integrated. Yes, that's my city. Pretoria yeah. definitely. I think it's because Pretoria people are very loud and they the no music. loud as in they say. <laughs> I am there for the music. Like they're very loud and vo vocal. That's the word I'm looking yeah. for. Very vocal about wanting a meet and greet. Yeah. Guys, it's up to Dennis and Tato when we come see you guys. What happens there? Because we don't know anything about Pretoria. Next thing we're just having a meet and greet on the side of the road. We'll open the beautiful Suzuki. There we go. Play some music. I'm ready, guys. We can get a six pack of Benini. I'm ready. I'll get a sweet break. Focus. This must happen. This weekend. So, do you want to go first? Definitely. Um, follow me on Instagram. Trying to get to take. Yeah. At Lele Lupindo. Um, Twitter same Lele Lupindo. And subscribe to Mombanza. Yeah, subscribe to Mombanza. Um, and yeah, Sibu underscore Mombanza is A on Twitter and just Sibu Mombanza on Instagram. That's where you'll find us. Subscribe to Mombanza. Subscribe to Defining. It's going to be one of the biggest YouTube channels in South Africa if it isn't already. Come on. It is. It's got Shoma Josie. Um, it's got Casper. It's got Sibu Mombanza. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's got Bye, guys. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs>